MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. Mustang Medic is brought to you in high definition. MustangMedic.com. The 1966 Mustang Coupe Restoration Project. Okay, Zoma 66 is back. So here's another day of the 66. Um, her heater core is leaking. We didn't do any work on the heater core. Uh, we just simply hooked it back up to the engine. And uh, she's got antifreeze coming down from underneath. So what we're going to do is this. Got that's a heater line. That's right, Sarah. It is a heater line. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this clamp and unscrew that clamp. We're going to cut these lines off up to the back of the uh, the heater core, which is basically like a little radiator in the heater box down there, which air flows through. And we're just going to run this line down and around to here so it bypasses it. I'm also going to blow uh, water under pressure in there to get the antifreeze out of that box so it doesn't just keep dripping in on her. When it's all water and then we'll blow air in it, then it will dry out for her and won't be dripping on her feet. But the summer's coming. She, she wants to deal with it later, so we're, that's the way we're going to do that. So after I bypass that, I'm going to clean her up underneath and I'm going to wipe down everything. We're going to get an inspection of what it looks like right now. We're going to clean her and uh, we've got a, a transmission um, fluid leak. Uh, around the transmission, so we are going to find out what that is and fix it for her. All right, so that seems like a pretty good curve on the hose. It's not in the way of the of anything. It's not touching the dipstick or the valve cover. And what I did was I cut the hoses off right here, and I left them long because what I'm going to do is I'm going to run water through it now, and then I'm going to run pressurized air because I want to empty out that heater core the best I can, so it doesn't keep leaking while it's drying out. And antifreeze really never dries out. So you want to get up, blow all that antifreeze out with water and then blow it out with air. And she should have no more drips inside. I also left it long. Well, that's about it. That's the only reason to leave it long. Because when the heater core comes out, the, um, the hose clamps are on the other side of the firewall. So that will pull out. Very similar to the uh, 64 and a half. All right. That's bypassed. Now clean her out. Alright, so here's the hose and I am going to basically just blow water straight through that line down there. It's going to come flying out of there. Sorry for the, this is a one-handed operation. There it is. See all that antifreeze coming out of there? There it is. Now it's clean water. See it? Let's stop it one more time. Do it again. So that's just putting water through the um, basically it's it's very much like a little radiator in there yeah it's clean okay so she's been flushed of radiator fluid uh, in other words of um, antifreeze and now we're going to blast it with air to get the water out compressed air I mean that scared you didn't it you were scared I could tell all right so now I'm gonna blow compressed air Stick my nozzle in there, in that hole. Again, another opportunity for reading me the wrong way. And, and I am blowing the air through that line. That's it. Rinse it. Give it a bunch of air. And that should... That should do it. Clean all the water off the top of the... Alright, I'm going to let her dry and I am going to... Um, Get her up on the ramps, wipe her down, take her for a nice hard drive. And then we're going to scope her out, look underneath, and look for the leak where it's coming from the transmission, see if it's going to be obvious. All right, so 
here's a view of the pan right now as it is and it's actually doesn't seem too wet it's possible that the silicone is not uh, sealing with the filler tube and we could possibly have some leaking going on there and it's walking back through the gasket and then coming down through the back so I gotta wipe all this down I'm gonna ride her hard I'm gonna put her back up on the uh, on a ramp engines clean no oil leaks so that rear main is a success as well as the oil pan we've got no oil leaks at all so that's good news it's just a transmission pan possibly a transmission pan leak and what I might recommend to Zalma is just replace the just just replace the uh, transmission pan completely and just put a new one in. Heck, I might as well do a chrome. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna wipe her down and try to get a sense of if it's the tube, the filler tube. Uh, it does have an O-ring in it, and we put silicone on it, but it does appear a little wet. So I'm gonna wipe it down real good, and I'm gonna wipe down the gasket all around the pan and take her for a drive with Pete to go get parts for 71. All right, so I made an adjustment. It looks like that the uh, adjustment screw did a little walkout, so I might get a few small nuts to add so it can get locked in. But uh, the idle seems to be working fine now with just a simple tightening of the idle screw. So. Taking her out. <coughs> All right, so we took her out, drove her hard. Um, I think the paint is still burning in on this car. We can smell a scent and we're looking around. There's no rubber touching anything hot, so it must be the paint still burning in. I don't think Zoma drove it very hard. We brought the idle up so it's running better. <coughs> and then when we first started out, we thought we heard an exhaust leak, but it doesn't seem to be there anymore. So it's possible that the manifold bolts need to be tightened up because metal expands when it heats up it gets larger so when it started cold we could hear a possible exhaust leak so I'm gonna check those manifold bolts when uh, when we go back in but she's running good she's run strong no complaints Right, so what I'm suspect of is that it's the transmission fluid level is too high. So I checked it; it's about two inches over full. Um, I told Zoma to put some transmission fluid in there. I guess she just put like a half a quart. And it was it was too much. The leak is only minor because the way it's looking is it's probably just the uh, the pan gasket again. So I'm probably going to just get a new pan for her and another gasket, and just that will should seal it up. I'm going to have to drop a little bit of fluid out here. What's happening is that the the vacuum advance on the on the um, transmission is actually sucking up some of the transmission fluid and putting it back into the engine because of it being overfilled with transmission fluid. No oil leaks at all, we're good to go. Just a simple pan gasket again. So we're gonna get that fixed for her. Alright so here, this is the hose that is the vacuum for her trans. We're gonna look at it and see if it's wet. And there it is. And I'm trying to pull it off here. It's a little, everything's hot because I was just driving her. Ouch, oh, that hurt. Elbow smash. And it appears to be a little wet. It's a little tough to tell, but it does appear to be a little bit wet because it goes so far down on that, on that tube, it's hard to see it being wet. But that's what I'm suspect, suspecting. Because I'm seeing smoke from out of the tailpipes and that wasn't happening when we road tested her. And I'm like, what's going on? The idle got really low, so I adjusted the idle up, and then I heard valve noise, which wasn't there anymore. It wasn't there when we did the set it exactly at six degrees advance. So interesting stuff happened in one week. So we're gonna we're gonna drain the pan a little bit, get some of this transmission fluid out of it. Or actually, what we're probably gonna do is we're just gonna change the pan. That's my recommendation to Zoma. I'm gonna order it and probably get it on Wednesday. Change the pan out road test her hard again and that should stabilize her. That will also give us an opportunity to work on the headlights this week while we're working on the 69 springs. And the 71 of course, can't forget that. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Well, we're going to put her back on ramps when we get her back home and we're going to take a peek at her but uh, she's good. I'm also going to check those manifold bolts. I think they need to be a little bit tighter. Okay. Good. Good. See what we got. But I'm gonna let it cool down first because I don't want to burn myself on the pipes. If you know what I mean. <laughs>
Okay. Mustangmedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. <laughs>